MindWaze is a program that I wrote. It's a free program, open source, that allows you to take models from a Minecraft world and uh, make them real. Basically print them on a 3D printer. In fact, you don't even need a 3D printer because you can use print services such as Shapeways to, uh, to print the model for you. So first of all, you go to MindWaze.com, download for PC or Mac. The down for download for PC, all it is is a zip file with an executable file in it and some other support files. So you run that and you'll see something like this. All you then do is go to File, Open World. It'll show you all the worlds you've created. Uh, usually just a few, but I have a bunch for testing. Anyway, this is the one that I use. Uh, this is our, our world that I, uh, I play in. And so you can zoom around. You can look around and see stuff. It'll show you, you know, what's going on in your world. It's kind of a nice mapping program from that standpoint. What you can do is zoom with the mouse wheel, and then you right-click somewhere and drag and you make a box around an area that you think is of interest. This little dialog will come up and you just say yes. It's basically telling the uh, program how deep you want this box. It's sort of a 3D box. You're making you know, a 2D box here, but it's really got to have a depth. How far deep do you want to go? And what it does is it detects where ground level is and puts, a, puts the lowest level there. Um, you can also adjust that up here with this lower level depth kind of thing and you can see what it does to the uh, display as you zoom as you go up uh, less of the uh, less of the thing is highlighted so anyway let's get it back to where it was I can now export I just go export for 3d printing and type in some name so there's a scary dialog just say okay and that'll be fine and uh, then it oops, didn't quite click it there then it exports <laughs> and you get a uh, export file as shown here. These are the three files you get. You get one file that's just a uh, shows you all the texture tiles of uh, what's what, and then you get a second file that I've hooked up to something called the SAP Viewer Complete, which is a free 3D uh, file program, um, file previewer I should say, and uh, so you can install that and hook it up to your uh, t it up to your system and be able to see your model. What's cool is you can zoom in on the model. Like for example, I can zoom in. Well, that's a little far. I can zoom in here and show how the uh, the ladders are are you know available here. You can see small features like torches get slammed onto the sides of walls because they're j they're kind of too small to print. But um, anyway, you can get all this detail. You can also do a cool thing here of using the cross section tool to be able to walk through your model and see, you know, is there anything that's uh, sort of uh, looking not like it's connected. Remember, just because you can make it in Minecraft doesn't mean you can necessarily print it. Um, the program does try to correct as best as possible any kinds of flaws that you might have where you might have something floating in the air that looks like it's connected but isn't. Uh, the program will try to connect those kinds of things up. Um, the key with 3D printing is it's all based on volume. So the less volume you have, the cheaper the model. So this uh, this kind of previewing lets you see if there's any places that you know you could carve away and save yourself a few bucks. So anyway, once you feel good about the model, you then go and uh, upload it. So to upload, you go to Shapeways, you create an account, and then you can go to Create Upload, and it lets you choose a file. And I choose you, Pikachu. You always choose the uh, zip file version, otherwise you won't get the texture on the thing. And give it a name. And, uh, and then just at the bottom of the screen you'll see something that says upload file or upload model. And it uploads. And basically you come back in a few minutes and go to your, uh, go to your site and uh, you know there will be a little my models listing. You can go here and see all the models that are there. So going there you can see uh, here's the Eiffel model and I can go edit it and this allows you to set up a bunch of things like, you know, if you want to offer it for sale, um, you can update there. You can uh, do a bunch of other cool things. I'll give a quick run through. The other things you probably want to do is roll down here, look for the sandstone material. It's always in the middle here somewhere. There it is. Click Make Default. Select only the default material so that it can only be printed in sandstone. And then update the materials. And uh, what that does is basically now the, the models for printing in a sandstone. The other thing that I like to do is allow downloads in case people want to grab the model if I'm not feeling uh, possessive about the model. It's also very nice to do this 
is to tag it. And that just uh, lets people know they can find it in a search then. So that's about it. You exit. And so now your model's here. Um, one cool feature is that you can actually click on this and it shows you a little preview of your model which you can interactively rotate around and look at how the, uh, what the model looks like. So anyway, that's about it. And uh, enjoy. It's free. It's uh, fun. It doesn't cost you anything to upload models and check them all out. It's only when you, you know, add to cart that you're actually paying anything. And uh, yeah, have fun with it. Bye now.